How many reviews do your books really need? In this video, we're gonna be answering exactly that question based off of tons of data and statistics so that we can know exactly how many reviews we need on our books to get consistent sales for a long time. Now, the numbers and statistics that we're gonna be looking at are from a study done by Northwestern University where they looked at buyer psychology and consumer behavior when relating to reviews. So there's a lot of takeaways and in this video we wanna also talk about our five biggest takeaways from that study that was done on over 13,000 different products with over 120,000 different reviews. So that everything we talk about in this video can be backed up with 99% certainty because of the massive sample size. So that's the great thing about it. This is backed up by science and numbers and statistics. So we're gonna hop into the computer and look at this study in depth and share with you guys the five biggest takeaways that we can take from this study and put into our own publishing businesses. Yes. So uh, what's some cool transition we can go into the computer? Here we are looking at the research study done by the Spiegel Research Center where they did a massive study looking at how online reviews influence sales. And then it says the evidence of the power of online reviews to shape customer behavior. First, let's just browse over it real quick. It is a 20 page document. Now we won't read it, we will link it down below if you would like to read it for yourself, but we will give you the condensed version of the important points. So the first takeaway we have, which might be an obvious one, but now we have statistics to back it up. And that is that reviews matter a lot, a lot. They're All extremely long. Especially when it comes to selling your paperback books because they have a greater influence on higher priced items as opposed to a $3 ebook. Customers will not look at reviews as much or take them as heavily if it's a lower priced yeah. item. They're much more influential on a $20 paperback book. So the study actually starts off by stating the fact that nearly 95% of shoppers read online reviews before making a purchase. So if you have negative reviews or no reviews on your book, that's obviously gonna hurt your conversions massively. And the only thing we care about on our product page is having a high conversion rate. So that's why reviews matter, because it is the biggest conversion booster for your products, or in this case, for our books. Your eBooks, your paperback books, and your audiobooks. So yes, for the conversion rate, when they land on the sales page for your book or the product page, but also for the click-through rate when they see your book amongst the Amazon search results. Right, because you can see the reviews on a book before you even click on it. Yeah. So it's the biggest booster for click-through rate and conversion rate. Which are the two things that matter. And a high click-through rate and conversion rate is especially important when you're running ads to your books because you're paying money for people to see your book. So you better make sure that it's converting and you're actually making money from those ads. Now, watch our most recent video before this one where we talk all about ads. So that's a great video. We'll link it uh, up here in the a, cards. Put a, a tag? A yeah, card, a card, card, card. Yeah, yeah, a card. Uh, so you can watch that video later after you watch this one. Takeaway number two that we took from this study, which was actually mind-blowing to me and very surprising. I'll just read it straight from the, uh, from the screen. It says, across product categories, we found that purchase likelihood typically peaks at ratings in the 4.0 to 4.7 range and then begins to decrease as the ratings approach 5.0. Put differently, products with an average star rating in the 4.7 to 5.0 range are less likely to be purchased than those in the 4.2 to 4.7 range. Less likely, so basically, in the consumer's eyes, five star rating is deemed as too good to be true. So there is a tipping point where better reviews are actually hurting you. Yeah, that's insane. I yeah. think it comes to the point where like, they just don't trust the reviews. Yeah. And I think trust is the number one factor when it comes to buying anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need to trust what you're buying. So that's probably come from just online business in general where fake reviews is a real thing and consumers yeah. know that. Yeah. So the sweet spot is between 4.0 and 4.7 rating. So if you get negative reviews, embrace a few of them. Obviously don't go seeking after them, but if you have 105.0 and no bad ratings, a few bad ones will literally boost your conversions, yeah. which is mind blowing to me. So that was a huge takeaway from this. Still continue to chase the five star ratings because believe me, the one stars will come on their own. They will come. You don't have to do anything. Even if this. you have the best book ever, they will come. <laughs> The third takeaway from this study is that follow-up emails are the most powerful way of gathering reviews for your books. Yeah. Therefore, you have to have an email list, but let's read straight what it says here in the study. So here it says, prior research from Power Reviews shows that 
up to 80% of reviews originate from follow-up emails urging shoppers to review their purchases. So with that, here's the deal with reviews. People don't mind leaving reviews. It's not like a big, a big deal. It could take literally like 60 seconds. People just won't do it unless they're asked. Like if you just poke someone and ask them, hey, can you kindly leave a short review on my book? They will gladly do it. And that's what you should be doing in your follow-up sequences. And this is what we've really started to implement into our publishing businesses recently and what we advise everyone, everyone else do as well. So set up email marketing in your publishing business, set up an automated sequence of maybe like five emails just every few days asking for a review on your book. Just, hey, how'd you like the book? Can you please leave a review and give me your feedback and what you thought of it? Email marketing really is the one and only truly tested and consistent way of gathering reviews for your books. Mean that you really have no choice but to collect readers' emails and follow up with them to ask for the review afterwards. Now setting up this kind of what we call an automated review system, that is what we call our email automation setup. Uh, that's really exactly what it is. It's all automated and it's a lot easier to set up than people think. Now it can be complicated depending who's teaching you, but if we were to show you how to do it, it's actually a lot simpler than you realize. Yeah. And it's by far the most effective method of getting reviews. So it is definitely a must in your publishing business. Yeah. Now I do want to make another video going more in depth about that. Definitely. Say that for another time. We can make a whole video talking about email follow-up for your publishing business with the objective of getting reviews. Yeah. And this is also one of the biggest focuses that we've put on inside of AA 2.0 and that is the whole email marketing side of things for gathering reviews. Like I, we've mastered the process, yeah. seriously, to the point where gaining reviews, which I think was a big problem for us at least and mm -hmm. most people in the community. The entire community. The big problem for them and, and like not knowing what to do. Mm -hmm. I think we've completely solved that problem. Let's move on to the next point. Now the fourth takeaway from this, this kind of relates to the follow-up emails that you want to implement and that is to get the most out of your follow-up emails, you need to streamline the process of getting your reviews or asking for your reviews. So I'll read what it says here on screen. Make the process of posting a review as simple as possible by allowing shoppers to submit reviews with just a few clicks. Now how you do that, instead of in your emails you say, hey, go to Amazon, find my book and leave a review. Some people do that, that is not effective, that's asking for too much, that might take people like, more time that they want to give you. The next best thing you can do is send a link directly to your book, but a lot of people don't know, you could take it a step further and you could send them a direct review link so that when they click on this link, they go directly to a review page for your specific book. So like the typing is ready to be done right when they click on it. Yeah. So you, you, they could just write a sentence, I love this book, thank you, I learned a lot. Submit, within 30 seconds, they left a review. This could literally, I don't want, the stats aren't here to prove it, but it could probably literally double your review conversion rate when asking for it in your email. If not more. Yeah. But that is a perfect example of streamlining the review process or asking for the review. Yeah. I could just put myself in the shoes of the reader now. Yeah. And if you I am trying to spend 10 minutes to write a review for you and find it. Let them know this won't take more than 30 seconds. Just click here and you're ready to go. So the final takeaway we want to take from this study and is also the biggest one and it's answering the question that we asked in the beginning of the video which is how many reviews do your books really need? And this study says that initial reviews have the greatest impact. So let's just read straight what it says. Based on our research, we found that nearly all of the increase in purchase likelihood occurs within the first 10 reviews. And the first five reviews drive the bulk of that increase. Yeah. And you can also see the graph here on the right hand side for both the low price and high price items all of the increase in purchase likelihood happens within the first 10 reviews. And the bulk of that purchase likelihood happens within the first five. But within the first 10 reviews, you've done 90% of the increase you can in conversions. But after 10 reviews, you're gonna experience a ton of diminishing returns on those reviews. So with that said, I just want to say that once your books reach 10 reviews, I do not think you should worry about gathering more reviews. No. Now still, try to get more, but do not make it a focus anymore because that's not the reason why your book isn't selling if it's not. It's not worth your time. Once you have 10, you are set. And the last thing I wanna show you here about that, so let's take it straight from the screen. Having five reviews causes purchase likelihood to increase by a factor of nearly 4X. So that's just from five reviews. That's insane. Yeah. So is 50 reviews better than five or 10? Yes, obviously. But the difference between 10 and 50 reviews is minimal compared to the work you'd have to put into it. Yeah. So focus on getting 10 initial reviews, and then after that, just let it sit, gather organic reviews, 
gather reviews from your automated review system, which is where every purchase you make, you're gonna try and collect your email and then simply ask for a review. So you will still gain reviews over time, but once you have 10, don't worry about it. You're like, set, that you is, are set. That is all you need to make a ton of consistent sales for literally years. So with all that said, that is our five biggest takeaways yes. from this study done on online reviews. Now, I do wanna say something real quick before we end the video, and that's just a little bit about a promo that we have running, and that is that AA 2.0 is about 85, 90% complete, but we're still about a month, maybe over a month away from launching. We are still accept accepting beta testers, and we've opened that, of course, to AA 1.0 students. So if you're interested in getting access to 2.0 right now, link in the description to Audiobook Income Academy. That's all we have to say. Magic emoji of the video is the pen and paper with the reviews. And nah, 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 nah. That's it. Comment, like, subscribe. Super smoky out. See you guys in the next video. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Yeah? Check out all the other videos on our channel for the best publishing videos on the internet. That's basically what there is to say in this video.